Well, that didn't work. so much better between us when you remember the paper in the morning. And let's keep them that way. Steve, I'm so glad you came back. What have you been doing? I visited the lodge. Talked to the sergeant at arms there. He knows that there's something out of whack here. He told me if I wanted to find out what it is, I should join the lodge. I've decided to join the lodge, Stephanie. I think the answer to all our questions is inside. That place. It's so sinister. You may be playing right into their hands. Did you think of that? Doesn't it seem like you're being herded toward the lodge? That's one of the things I hope to find out. I hope finding out doesn't get you killed. My faux mother keeps me up on the latest gossip. Not like she really wants to talk to me. More like she's feeding me information. For instance, she told me that Mr. Johnson's Tucker was vandalized. That's another weird thing. Every car I've seen drive by is a Tucker. There were only 31 produced. What are the odds of that? I've always wanted a Tucker. Funny that Harvest would be full of them. Any idea who scratched the car? Why would you do something like that? It's part of the Lodge initiation. I see. Look, I don't know what's going on here, but getting into the Lodge is the best way to find out. By committing vandalism? It was a crime, Steve. Don't be so melodramatic about it. I've heard of worse fraternity initiations. Sorry. When you put it that way, I guess I was overreacting. You know the firemen? Someone stole some fabric from them, and they're up in arms about it. Why would firemen spend their time decorating? <laughs> Only in harvest. Is it true? You found Karen? Yeah, just in time, too. He'd molested her and buried her alive. He couldn't bring himself to kill her outright, so he just decided to stick her in the ground and let fate take its course. Who? Who would do that to a helpless child? She says it was Mr. Potsdam. And I believe her. Oh, Christ. And all this time I've been under the same roof with that... With that thing watching me. Take it easy, okay? So, at least they'll be coming to take him away, won't they? Come back and visit me soon, okay? Your next 
assignment is to break into the tonsorial establishment of Mr. Pastorelli and abscond with his prized barber's pole. Lack of respect for authority. A fine trait for a member of the order. Yes, I approve, Stephen. I hope you succeed in your task. Break into the shop, steal the barber's pole, and bring it back to me. At that point, I shall give you your final task. Exquisite cloth. Still, that is not your concern. Thank you. 